Hi and welcome to another Honest Review. And if the sight of an overflowing ironing basket fills you with dread, then this is a video for you. Because this week we're looking at high pressure steam irons and this Tefal Pro Express Expert Care model in particular, which I bought just last week and is already making a big difference to my laundry life. So just to give you a potted history of our Tefal steam iron ownership, about 16, 17 years ago as a wedding present, we were bought a very similar model to this one and absolutely loved it. Um, and we used it for six years until it gave up on us a lot, but after a lot of use. We then bought another one and it lasted eight years. And when that one went, uh, we bought a, a much cheaper model for about £75 called the Tefal Fastio. Um, and that unfortunately lasted only two years. So just a couple of weeks ago, just after Christmas, and of course, just days after the two year guarantee had expired, it overheated. So I left it sitting out on the ironing board, face up, for 10 minutes while I went into the kitchen to do something. And then my older son yells, can I smell smoke, mum? Ran through and yeah, the thing was, was up and finished. We've not been able to revive it. So we decided to uh, bite the bullet and invest in a, a much more expensive model like this. So before I tell you how this Pro Express model works, I think it's worth saying that with the cheaper model, it did create plenty of steam, but it was just hard to control. So you would hit the steam button, it would be jetting steam out everywhere. You would go to iron your material, lift it up, and the steam would still be billowing out. And the temperature was never quite right. So it took longer to iron and the creases were never fully out. When we invested in this model in just a week, the, the difference is night and day. So let me explain why. Let's start with the settings. First of all, you've got your on off button. You switch it on and it's gonna take a couple of minutes for it to heat up and for the steam to start working. Now for somebody for impatient like me, I am kind of hopping about waiting for it to start. But in the greater scheme of things, that's not too big a deal. Um, another slight nuisance factor I would say, different to the previous models, you have of course your five settings from synthetic to silk to wool, cotton and linen as many irons do but this one always reverts back to the synthetic setting. So every time you start it, you have to manually shift it up to cotton or whatever you, you, um, you want to put it on to, rather than it reverting to the last setting you used. Unlike the last model, the temperature control isn't on the handset, which is a bit of a departure. Uh, when you're waiting for it to heat up, your cue is it flashes, as it's warming and then once it's reached its temperature and it's ready for you to go, the light will become consistently blue. So the first thing you notice when you put iron to fabric is how easily, look how quickly and easily it glides over this top. And that's because it has technology they call Durillium Auto Clean. Um, it keeps this base really, really smooth, easy to glide, and it's auto clean technology as well, which means it should stay like this for its lifetime. So this has a continuous steam output of about 120 grams of steam a minute, but you have a little button on the handle here that you press for a steam boost quite a boost and that is 500 grams of steam per minute that's jetting out there. So a top like this or a t-shirt where I'm basically just giving it a couple of little boosts as I go should take under 30 seconds and you really I think only need to do one side the back and then the front comes out smooth. You'll notice this model has a lot of holes and that is to let the steam out efficiently and flowing through the material. Our last one, the, the lesser expensive fast duo model had way fewer steam holes and um, therefore was less effective. For those of you who know about such things, I can't pretend I do, but this one has 7.5 bars of pressure. So that's basically forcing the stream through the fabric to do a really swift job. Another couple of uh, features just to quickly show you. This has an eco setting, which will obviously take less energy, uh, still works pretty efficiently on that setting. And also there's a, an automatic retractable cable there as well, just to keep the, the system neat. Two common issues that can arise with steam irons are the build up of lime scale 
um, on the, the surface here and the creation of kind of dirty droplets that will always come out when you're ironing a brilliantly white shirt. This model has been designed to hopefully avoid these issues. So you have the auto clean technology that I talked about, about keeping the surface of the iron clean and free from buildup. But there is also a uh, built-in anti-calc uh, component here that you just rinse, uh, take out and rinse from time to time. So this is the water tank. It takes 1.6 litres of water. Unlike the older models where you used to flip out a little spout and fill it from a jug, this one you just lift from the base and you can fill it direct from the tap so you can get a lot more water in quickly. In the old days with these models, we used to have a huge palaver of having to get a hose to rinse out the system and keep it clean. That is avoided in this one. These higher end steam irons, um, and this one is no different, tend to be very heavy. So there's a little lock system here that means that you can lift it as you go and it's not, the head isn't gonna come away. Um, but you need, if you want to sit it on the board, a specially adapted ironing board that's gonna be able to carry the weight and the size of, of this machine. Um, the alternative is the cord connecting the actual iron with the base is really long so you can just sit it on a kitchen surface um, or a laundry surface nearby that's not an issue. So Tefal do an ironing board uh, made specifically for steam irons but it's £87 I've got a link to it on Amazon. We um, went for a Brabantia model, which was slightly cheaper, but does the, the job well. And this is a Brabantia cover, which is designed to let the steam flow, um, but keep the surface dry as well as you're ironing. So to wrap up, the Tefal Pro Express Expert Care model has really helped me cut down on the amount of time I spend ironing. And actually, and this is a shadow in me, I even quite enjoy ironing with it because it's just so quick and satisfying. Um, what it has taught me is that when you buy cheap, you pay double. Because when you consider that even with the older models, we got six years out of the first, eight years out of the second, went for a cheaper model and we only got two years out of it. So that shows me it's worth the investment. I mentioned before I've included a link to um, the model that we bought on Amazon Retail price £330, we bought it for £150 less and there always seems to be deals on. It's worth looking around the web, you should never have to pay the full retail price. I hope you found this video useful and that it will help you beat the ironing blues too. There are lots more videos like it on the channel covering everything from household to beauty and health products. Do take a look and if you did enjoy watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Okay, that's a wrap. Now I've got to get through this.